Our early experiments in time travel released massive amounts of chronal radiation into the time stream with devastating results. As the particles traveled back through time, they altered countless seemingly insignificant decisions throughout history. But where causality is concerned, nothing is insignificant. The result is the radioactive nightmare of a world that lies beyond the protective screens of this facility. If we are to have any hope of restoring the time stream, then we must employ the very cause of the problem itself, time travel. But we must be very cautious, for the risks of direct interference are potentially greater than what we have already faced. We must surgically alter the past, correcting the decisions that were corrupted, and leave it to the butterfly effect to restore the future. Butterfly this effect. This is an easy task, as many, many events were changed. And if we succeed completely, then we may wipe ourselves out of existence. Then we may. That was beautiful, if girl. If humanity is saved, then that is a price worth paying. <gasps> to unbreak time, we should break time even more. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. One second. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Break it until it's fixed. No, exactly. It's like. Oh, oh. hello there, 43. I see you are fully qualified now. Huh? Hey, that's very good. Good. Well, okay. Let's uh, let's find you a real mission then. Hey, uh, ah, tier three. Oh. That's not too difficult. It's one location. It's good. Good. Uh, six erroneous fatalities. Uh, Could be worse, 43. Hi, Malice! Okay. To fix this timeline, all six subjects must be saved, and you are only authorized to alter the decisions they made in the week before they died. Change the right set of decisions, and you save them all. Okay. So, let's find somewhere to drop you with no witnesses. Busy. Busy always happens to me. Wait, ah, oh, wait, okay, we got something, 43. It's a few hours afterwards. It looks clean. Mm, it's dark, though. Don't worry, I'll send some lights. I like his voice. <laughs> Let's get you when and where you need to be. 43! Initiating crossover sequence. Nice, Froggy. I'm, I'm proud of you, or happy for you. Temporal crossover in five seconds. Um, See you on the other side, 43. Three, two, one. Temporal crossover initiated. Oh no. Temporal crossover complete. Light drones inbound. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, they went Light through time portals. Crossover complete. Ah, still in one piece, 43. Good. Good, right. Okay, let's get you set up. Activate your visualizer. Oh my god. This ain't your typical puzzle game. Shit. Oh, thank you, Silva. Location, Alderbeck, UK. Temporal reference, 4.03 a.m. 4.03 May, 2015. Perfect. Now you'll probably need some boosters, okay? Your Wait, that's will be checking so now. funny because that's tomorrow. Please place birth signal booster at location indicated on visualizer. Uh, what did I say, huh? Okay, 43. You just need to head toward... Oh, good. Right. Okay.
Don't be suspicious. 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 Don't be story driven ghosty we love you thank you so much for gifting us up to resident evil 7. oh hello hi everyone it's in the living room it says okay cool let's find the living room i can run The rain is beautiful. We're playing on ultra. Ultra graphics. Half Please place final signal booster. If the target of the visualizer is located on a different floor, the white dot will be replaced with an arrow. An up arrow means the target is above you, while a down arrow means the target is below you. Okay. Um, okay. Up. No worries, Jen. How we gonna get them out of this house for the house fire? Or... Maybe we can just stop the fire before it happens. Activating signal boosters. Aww. Initiating scan. Ah. Scan complete. Corruption detected. Six erroneous fatalities confirmed. Conclusion no. event determined. Location transfer to visualizer. I don't want to watch them die. The system is locked in. Good, good, good. Okay. Go follow the target on your visualizer and we can see how the story currently ends. <gasps> oh no. Oh my god! No. To follow him. <clears throat> How sick should have survived, but time is being corrupted, oh, and now they are this very, is really very dead. Good. Stopping the fire would fix all of this, of course, 43. Mm -hmm. But forecasting is saying this has major repercussions further down the timeline. Oh. Which is why you are using a scalpel oh. instead of swinging the axe. Okay. Analyzing timeline. Evaluating events. Time map available. Ah, good, okay. Open up your time map and I will talk you through it. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's the end of the time map 43. The large hexagon is a conclusion event and you can return here and rewatch it at any time. Small hexagons are the final events for each of the subjects. If you change someone's fate, then both of their final event and the conclusion event will Wait, change. This is really cool. The white events are all part of the current timeline and can be watched at any time and in any order. Oh my god. The grayed out events are potential events from alternative timelines and cannot currently 
be watched. Okay. If you change a decision which alters the timeline, some events will change state from one to the other. Hmm. Once you have watched the decision jump around. 43, it will appear on the map as a diamond, so it is easier to find it again later. The portraits at the top will show you who is in each event, as well as whether they are alive or dead on the current timeline, 43. And this is the earliest event on the timeline. Like the rest, it currently has a question mark because it has not yet been watched. Well, you can room. choose any event in any order, 43. Let's just start here for now. Select this event, and I'll check everything is working as it should. Do you understand? I understand. Good, we're ready. Let's go. Day one. Wednesday, 0800, location, Tom's room. I assumed it was upstairs, but maybe it's not. Oops. Tom's room. There it is. Geralt could have helped with this. Oh, I think it's right here. It's a good place for the uh, webcam, right? Yeah. Uh, Bumble, thank you for gifting two subs. What is you doing? Thank you. You're back. Welcome back. This game is really cool. I think it's this. Okay, his room is on the first floor. <gasps> Tom, are you okay? Obviously not. You died in a fire. I mean, yeah, he's, he's looking better. Better. And your friend. Oh, you little Frankie. Oh, no, the bird died too. No. It's not as often. But he's, he's still pulling out his feathers every now and then. Yeah. Hi. I talked to the vets. They want to keep him overnight. Oh. I just... I just don't know if that will cause him more stress, you know? Yeah. <sighs> the decision 43, this is fortunate. You should try and change it, okay? So we can make sure everything is working properly. Yes? Okay. Yeah, you're right. They had an appointment for next Tuesday, so I'll book him in for them. The vet will take care of him, I think. S sorry, that's that's the door. I've got to go. It's hard, but I think the birdie later. will be okay right. in the vet right. office. I really like the controls, boys. You're fully able to change the timeline. And as a bonus, the little birdie also gets to live too. <laughs> Everyone's a winner, eh? Yes! Anyway, probably best to head back to the time map and select another event. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> to move quickly around the time map, press and hold the left mouse Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Um, so I don't know if I should go in order. What do you think, chat? Should I go? So this is just Tom's, I guess. I think I want to kind of see what happens with Tom. I don't know. This is crazy. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I see. <laughs> so Bert is the only one who needed to live. Yeah, yeah. So Tom decided to book the vet appointment. Right, right, right. Okay. Next is in the hall. And it's the three of them. So let's let's see this. 
Day one, Wednesday, eight oh one. Location, Paul. The device, not okay. Right, but then if I'm on his timeline, for example, I might need to go backwards to make it so that they don't show up or something. You know what I mean? So we'll go in order until it doesn't well, make sense. It's good to sense. see you. Oh, and you. It's good to be here. Oh, uh, this is Tom. He's the landlord. Tom, what I would have done without you? Uh, look, I've just got a spare room. That's not all your stuff, is it? Oh, no, there's more in the car. Keys? Right, back in a minute. So it's okay. not like a complete so, uh, friend how about group. A quick tour? Lead on. I wonder if someone started the fire. I didn't start the fire. The fire's burning and the fire's burning. So that was one thing. Crossing the what? I wasn't paying attention because I was singing. <laughs> Crossing the threshold, met up with her brother Neil and was introduced to Tom. Okay. Cool, cool. This one is the four of them. Let's see. Day one, Wednesday, 804. Location, kitchen. And here's the kitchen. Guys, this is Linda. Hi. Linda, this is Ben and Jenny. Like the ice cream? <laughs> That's us. We're just so sweet, aren't we, honey? Ah, oh, we certainly are. Mm. Though, I'm also a bit late for work. Dr. Ben, I presume? Oh, the uniform. Well, that, along with your excellent bedside manner with the young lady in pajamas. Oh, she called me young. She can stay. <laughs> what? Unfortunately, I can't. See you tonight. See ya. And I guess I'll see the two of you later as well. Yeah, take it easy, mate. See ya. Right, time to see Oral. Like the ice cream. Okay. Now, let's see the room. So it doesn't Day matter one, if I don't Wednesday. do things the right Eight, order right oh away. My. Location, Linda's room. Yes, let's party 2014. Whip up some sin. Nice, can I play it? I wonder if that's relevant later. This is so cool, I haven't played a game like this. I like it. Is this Linda's room? Ah! And this is you. So, was he? Hmm? The previous tenant. Born to rock? Aha! Uh -huh. Well, he certainly wasn't born to stick around and pay the rent. Ooh. But I doubt it. Why? He's left his guitar. I'll get rid of it all for you. If you re-watch a decision, a button will appear next to your device. Your device pressing this button will pause the event and allow you to select the outcome without having to wait until the decision point. Um, okay, leave the guitar current. Yeah, let's take it away. Let's see. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. I know I'm not in Kansas anymore, but my days as a rock chick are way over. Wait, maybe it's the previous <laughs> sure tenant thing, who is burning the uh, place down. You want these? Oh, just put them anywhere, Toto. Toto? Oh. Not in Kansas. And oh, because she made the joke. Okay, I see, I see. That's cool. Ah ha ha. Hey, everything looks good. Look, love, this is Kieran. It's not forever. Like I've explained, I'll see you Saturday. How was school today? Okay, I guess. When are you coming home, Mom? What have you had for tea? Pizza again. Mom, you promised it would be soon. I'll pick you up from school tomorrow and we'll go home. You're coming home for real, for good? Yes, brush your te teeth and go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. I love you, love you too. I wonder if we could just like get her out of here. Let's see. He's mad 
forget about the guitar. How dare you take my guitar? Day one, Wednesday, 810. Location, Hall. Hi, Neil. Anything for me in there? Hold on, I'll, um, I'll double check. Oh, wait, yeah. Uh, here you go. Cheers. Uh, can I squeeze past work? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. See you, Doc. See you, Neil. Mmm, what's in that letter? Any post? Mmm. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna go to. That was. The portraits highlight. Which characters appear in each event, as well as whether that character is alive or dead <laughs> at the end of the current timeline. Okay, they're all dead. <laughs> they're all dead. Uh, let me see about him. I am going to follow him. Day one. Wednesday, second. eight fifteen. Location landing. Where? Landing. Oh, it's up here. My bad. If you need to move more quickly around the house, hold shift. Got that already. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Okay, Bumble. See you soon. I thought the landing was here. Oh, here. Oh my god, hey. Raquel! That's the bathroom, and this is my bedroom. Oh, what a nice view. Morning. 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 Hi. Who was that? I have no idea. Oh, it's her boyfriend. Oh, hi. I'm Raquel. <laughs> you must be jealous. Uh, this uh, is um, oh. Linda. My Linda. Sister. So I guess she knows all your childhood secrets then. Oh, I could tell a tale or two. Leave him alone, you two. Spoil sport. We can talk later. But now, I suppose I'd better go throw some clothes on. Okay. Honestly, he's a good landlord. He's chill. I know. Landlords can be, yeah, but it's nice to see him like be okay with overnight guests and let people stay full free if they need to right away, you know. Summer Ball 2015, Hornet Hideout, cool. Music, comedy, food and drink, attractions. Oh, Neil, I thought that was... Okay, I was going to follow him. So I can't look at these, I guess. Why not yet? Oh, I have to follow a certain... Okay. Maybe I have to follow for a certain while. Day one, Wednesday, 8.26. Location, Neil's room. So, how have you been? Uh, good. Yeah, we're pretty good. Nice place. The landlord seems nice. Right. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, he's pretty cool. I mean, having a pool table in your basement is pretty awesome, hey, you, right? right? Yeah, I suppose it is. I'm just trying the alternative. Might be wrong. So, how's mum and dad? Okay, I guess. You guess? When was the last time you talked to them? Well, last week, sometime, I think. You think? Right, that, that'll be in luck. Um, I, I've got to go to uni. That's okay. You go. We'll catch up later. I love their accents. I love them. Dear Neil, hi, love. It's your mum. I've tried ringing a few times, but I guess you've been busy, so I thought I'd. 
be a bit old fashioned and put pen to paper and write you a letter. While I finally managed to shake off the cold that I've had for almost three months, the doctor said it wasn't anything serious, but there was some sort of secondary infection, and so he had me on the antibiotics. I also had a few hot toddies before going to bed, and one or the other seems to have worked. Your dad's still pottering off down the allotment. Wait. Oh, I could have. Yeah, my bad. Uh, or at least that's what he says. He thinks I can't smell the pints of bitter on his breath when he gets back. Silly man. Still, at least it keeps him quiet and lets me watch my soaps in peace. We missed you at Easter. The lamb was almost perfect, with, but with just the two of us, we were eating bubble and squeak for days afterwards. Still, with your exams coming up, I can understand why you'd want to take some time out. Oh, and I bumped into your old maths teacher. Mrs. Willis when I was out in town on Tuesday. She's retired now, but she still remembers remembers you, her star pupil. She asked how you were doing and wanted you to know she was proud of you. Linda's been in touch. She said she wanted to talk to you about something, so I passed her your number. I told her you're really busy, but she said she will drop you a text. Anyway, I'll sign off now as I don't want to take up too much of your time, and I'm sure you don't need your old mom nagging at you, but if you find yourself with half an hour spare, I'd love to to hear your voice that's sad it's sad to me they have accents <laughs> ah. my unsophisticated american general american voice and ear emily glad you're coming to the party tonight maybe i can show you my room oh um i'm really sorry about last night em i don't know what happened <gasps> Look, Neil, I like you and I, we had some fun, but I don't need the drama. I'm not looking for some guy who thinks he needs to protect me. Just leave it and try and be friends, okay? Wait, I'm really sorry. I had a bit too much to drink and I lost it. It won't happen again. Why don't we just meet up for a drink, just me and you? No, Neil, you're not listening. I want you to leave me alone. Okay. Neil, what did you do? What did you do? Day one, Wednesday, 8.31, location, hall. There you are, we're gonna be late. Sorry. What are you doing up there? Or should that be who? I was just talking. Oh yeah. To my sister? Oh. <laughs> oh. Is she no. hot? No. Don't even think about it or I'll hurt you. Uh, listen, you can try, yeah? But my granddad learned Kung Fu from Bruce Lee. Ian. And then he taught me. Ian. Oh. Bruce Lee? Uh. No. My granddad. Come on. We gotta go. Okay. Ben and Jenny, Wednesday, 834. Location, Ben and Jenny's room. Ben and Jerry's room. A remote. Worldwide collections. Oops. Your Dutch bank credit card account. The legal owner of this debt, Dutch Bank PLC, would like to make one final offer to resolve this matter. Amicably pay 50% of the outstanding balance. Ooh. If you contact us about settlement of your account within the next 10 days, you can avoid legal proceedings. Ooh. Uh, shit. Poor guy. This is the last will and testament. <gasps> oh my god, who got 
me that book. Who got me that book? Hi, Levente. How you doing? I'm so excited. Thank you. I've been wanting that book. Thank you. It says just from a gifter. Oh, from Widow? Or I... No, no, no. That's the book title. It doesn't say who. Val, thank you for the book. I appreciate you. Hi, Levante. How you doing? Barbara Monroe. I revoke all my earlier wills. Tom Monroe to be the trustee of my will. I give the remainder of my estate to my trustees. Huh. Okay. It's sad. It's interesting that the bird was not feeling good. Could probably send something. Rent payment. Oh my god, only 60? What is things in the safe? 60 pounds? Goodness. Ben and Jerry's room. Oh, Ben and Jerry's <laughs> Uh, I'm scared. I don't want to go down there. No, thank you. Not for me. I understand. Oh, it's up. Okay, sorry. Right? Oh. Morning, Ray. So... Zack, he was a fun way to spend a few hours. I know, we heard. Thin wall. Awkward. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. That's why the speakers are above the bed, in case we have to drown out any wildlife. Really? Now I am sorry. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. What's up anyway? Well. I was just seeing Zach out and um... Oh, let me guess. Your door slammed shut on you? Again? Yeah. You got the spare? <laughs> sure. No. Nope. Ah, uh, here we go. Can't have you heading off to uni dressed like that now, can we? Oh, I don't know. You don't think it'd be appreciated? Mm. Go get dressed, you hussy. Love hussy. you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Thin walls. So Jenny has a spare key to Raquel's room. Hey, watch out. Consultant on Warpath think Ellen had a bad round of golf this morning. I'll find somewhere to keep my head down, but I'm on shift till five. Hi, Ben. Sorry to ask, but any chance of you covering my shift next Saturday? Yeah, okay. Anyway, who's the lucky lady? Emma from Radiology. She's way out of your league, I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Doctors for all. I'm very pleased to offer you the volunteer doctor placement with us. Good job, Ben. Good job. Help a zine. Take one daily. Miss Jenny Spencer. Doctor surgery appointment reminder. Surgery. Okay. Hmm. I'm a poltergeist going through their rooms. Thin walls. Day one, Wednesday. Ah! Location, kitchen. What was that sound?
Sorry. You ready? Yep. Let's go. You two off? We are. Uni. What are you doing Friday? Oh, yeah. We're having a house party here on Friday. Mmm. Oh, well, I don't know. You can't just sit in your room. But I don't have anything to wear. You don't need it. Ray and I will be dressing up, but no one else will. But there's got to be something you can borrow from us. <laughs> I'm not going to fit into anything either of you two own. <laughs> we'll figure something out once we get back tonight. Yeah, we'll sort it. We've got to go. Yeah. See you tonight. See you both later. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. There's no water. No water. No water, water, water. Oh, buddy. Our Tom starting his new school. You could pinch those cheeks. Oh. September 2001. Wow, wow, wow. Indian restaurant. I think the only option for me is to go. Oh, oh my God. Oh, so that's Thursday. How did the, yeah, that's true. Uh, I'm gonna see what happens. Can I? Conclusion event. It shows the current status of the mission. Both the mission status and the individual's bios will change based on the current settings of events on the timeline. Okay, so I don't know if there's any point in watching that because I already saw it. Should I... Oh my god, there's so much... Watch this. Day eight, Wednesday. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm feeling crazy. Location: Raquel's room. This is gonna probably be very sad. That's a bathroom. Oh, I can't. You'll need that key from Jenny's room. Oh. Wasn't it here? Yeah. Excellent, 43. Now we can see what lurks behind the lady's door. Good. Good, 43. Okay. Now you can watch wow. any events that take place in here. Um, no, thank you. Any events? Is she just sleeping? Oh, no, this is sad. No. So we gotta get her out of here. <coughs> well, that's really sad. Sorry. Overcome by smoke. Yes. Sorry about that. Neil's room? Do we want to watch their deaths? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think we want to watch their deaths. Caleb, I don't know what that is. You have to come talk to me instead of texting me. Uh... 
This one. We watched, 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 watched. Day one, Wednesday, 9.32. Location, Linda's room. Linda's room. Yeah, I can't. What is Hunter's Club? Can I have, isn't there the like, yeah, can I get the one? Yeah. Okay, thank you. We're getting Jimmy John's. Hi. Oh, yeah. What's in the box? Well, that's what I wanted to show you. You said you didn't have anything to wear to the party. Yeah. Oh. Didn't really have much time to grab anything besides my work clothes, some jeans and tops for lounging around in. Well, there's some dresses and stuff <gasps> in there. That fit. I'm a little scared to ask, but... Are they yours? No. Oh, no! They're my mum's. She won't. She doesn't need them anymore. <gasps> oh, I can't. Yes, she can. I was just going to throw them out, but... She'll be glad someone's getting some use out. Okay, I'll take a look. Good. They might need some work, but... I'm sure Jenny and Raquel can help you spruce them up a bit. Thank you. No problem. Aww. Now... If you'll excuse me, I've got a date with some reality TV. Okay, enjoy. That's sweet. A dress for Cinderella. <laughs> so this is crazy. I guess we can like go all the way to. Let me see him. Any post. Let's see this. Day one, Wednesday, 2315. Location, kitchen. So this is when he got home. Balls. Thought I heard someone skulking around in there. Sorry about that. That's okay. I wasn't asleep or anything. How's she doing? No change, really. But anyway, distract me. What's going on with you? Oh, so she's not dead like yet, her. his mom. <laughs> Thanks. Well, it's mostly just the usual. So, long hours dealing with hypochondriacs, drunks, and people who accidentally sat on Coke bottles and now can't get them out. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah. What? There's not enough money. Not enough staff, the government's trying to privatize you by the back door, and generally just don't feel like you're making actual difference. I couldn't have put it better myself. Oh, you have done. Frequently. Though you, you use longer words. Okay. Well, this time there's an extra cherry on top. Mm hmm. Go on. Remember a few months back, I talked about, you know, working overseas. Hey, Alvin. Uh, Happens to the best ah, of us. One of those places Relatable. that uh, send doctors into war zones. Yeah, well, it's not just war zones, but... Well, yeah. Anyway, I applied. Oh, I the volunteer I'd thing. Anywhere, okay. I just got an offer. <gasps> Whoa, that's great. But, Jenny? Or is it? I mean, it's what I really want to do, and, and I think I could actually help people. But... She can't exactly come with me to, you know, Somalia or Afghanistan, can she? But she should understand. How long is it for? Nine to twelve months, minimum. That's doable. So I know it's sad, but... What are you going to do? I don't know. Drink? Pool? Aww. Why not? Okay, so that's, that's a pretty big... Late night chat. Oh. Okay. Let's go back. Any post? No, we don't need him here. What is this? Saved by the bell. Neil became evasive after Linda. So why is that doing that thing? The blue thing. What? You change? I don't 
understand. Do y'all know why it would be blue? You chose the blue choice. Okay. Neil became evasive. Current. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. So it doesn't mean anything for right now. Um, this is crazy. Let's do this. Day one, Wednesday, 10.30. Location, living room. Don't be an idiot. Is he putting the world to right? Daytime TV annoys me so much. That's probably why I like it. <laughs> Are you off? Just thought I'd go for a walk. Well, if you go left at the main road, there's a post office and a couple shops. Go right, and there's a 24-hour garage. Well, I wasn't looking for anything I like this. Just fancied a walk. But how did it survive the fire? Sure thing. You get your phone on you. Give us a ring if you get lost. Oh, thanks, Dad. See you in a bit. See ya. Tom, you're so sweet. Where are you going? Are you worried about her? Tom, don't disappoint me. Tom. Are you going to snoop through her stuff? Thomas. Basement. Let's go to the basement. Day one, Wednesday, 1035. Location, basement. Oh my God. What the hell? I'm scared. Detecting some form of temporal abnormality. It does not appear to be in this room, but it is very close, so uh, please watch out. What did you do? The small pulsing white dot on the central timeline indicates the last event that was selected. <sighs> Hidden room. Day one, Wednesday, 1104. Location, hidden room. Ah, combination lock. I'm scared. <laughs> well, at least you're not searching for a key, 43. Oh, there's it. So it moved down here, which is interesting. Brian Scott was his. Okay. What if he tried to get like insurance money and then accidentally killed everyone? Kenny's fried chicken. So that was the hidden room. I mean, I wonder where that... Oh, Miranda, look, Miranda, we need to talk about last night. Don't worry about the marks. They'll heal up in a few days. I'm not talking about the marks. Oh, yeah, Karki. I thought they meant swimming pool, too. I was like, oh, cool. Um, Sorry I couldn't hang around this morning for round two but work had a crisis and they can't seem to get anything done without me. You're not listening. We need to talk. That reminds me, I'm going to be busy for a bit. So my naughty little puppy better behave himself. Then when I'm back, we'll see what else we can do. Toodles. Okay, we'll talk then. Whose phone is this? English to English. British to American. 
Local girl does good. Barbara Monroe. Oh, that's his mom. That's his mom. I don't think I'll be going to any more war zones, but I spent so much time behind a camera lens that I can't possibly imagine life without it. She was a photo journalist. Nice. Hi, Casket. So this is like a story-driven puzzle game, and it's about six people who died in a house fire, and you're traveling through time to, like, change their decisions. Still in the box. Oh. I believe, 43, that this is what they call irony. Um. <laughs> okay, so this is her stuff, too. Photographer of the Year Award. Yeah, we have another stream of this, uh, another sponsored stream. An old wardrobe in the basement. Huh. How curious. Because there's something in there, but like, why is this so sus? Unless this is a room that we can get to. Anyways. I don't know if I can get there yet. Boop, 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 boop. Crystal Lake, true story. Ah! Oh my God, throw it away. I hate that. That's very gross. How do I crouch? Oh, it's like, is that a security camera? Well. I bet his, I bet the key would be in his room. I don't know. I bet. Let's see. No crouching, no knees. Maybe not. Maybe we just have to keep going with the rest of the story. In room. Let's see what... Okay, so they're doing something else right Day now. Day 1, Wednesday, 1802. Location, Raquel's room. Raquel's room. That is Jenny's room. My apologies. Um, Forty-eight. Mm-hmm. Short. Nineteen-ish. Okay, then. So, can I move again? Oh, yeah. Oh, Why are you good. measuring? I was beginning to feel like a Christmas tree. Ooh, that's a good idea. Where do we put the tinsel? And the baubles? We're not sticking baubles on her. Mm. Tinsel? Oh, uh, you two are nuts. Why, thank you. We try our best. <laughs> Oops. So, uh, these clothes are Tom's mum's? Potential. Yeah. Is she... No, I want to do this. Sorry. How did you two meet in the first place? Ooh. Wow, it was nearly three years ago? Fresh as wheat, wasn't it? It was. So, we were drunk. Mm, naturally. In some dingy nightclub. The Banshee. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, we met. We danced, and then we went back to my place. Wait a minute. You two... Oh, no. <laughs> Not in the end. Though that was definitely my intention. Nice! You say the sweetest things. <laughs> so what happened? We just... 
and did all the talking. Oh, on dog. We both seen death up close when we were really young. I watched my mum die when I was eight. Cancer. And I saw my best friend get run over when I was seven. Oh, oh my God, that's horrible. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It was a long time ago. Yeah, there's been lots of therapy and drugs since then. But it was nice to meet someone who who understood. And I figured a new best friend was better than a one-night stand. Oh, I bet it'd have been good, though. You're doing great. That's a good friendship right there, in my opinion. A little fixer upper. Oh, who's this? We hope this helps you remember our beautiful daughter, love Pamela and James. I wonder if that's her friend. That died. No, stop with that. <laughs> None of that, please. Okay, we're almost done with the first day. Let's follow day it through. One, Wednesday, 2131. Location, Ben and Jenny's room. Pregnancy test. <gasps> A camera. <laughs> I don't think so. Froggy. Then in Jenny's room. Oh, that was here. for medicine. Is someone that? Uh, what the fuck? Stop. Oh my god, stop. Stop. I'm scared. I need some sleep. I'm scared. That seemed a little odd to me, 43. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, what if we have to fight another time traveler? What if there's another time traveler that we have to fight? I love it. My predictions make no sense. Okay, so then he has that. Okay, so then the, one, the talk happens with location path landing. The doctor guy. Oh no! Oh no! Go check. Breakup? Tears before bedtime. Oh no, this is sad. I guess. Lynn, what is going on? You weren't making much sense last time we spoke. Then I come home to find you gone and a note on the fridge saying you're leaving me. Oh, Kieran read the note, you know. He's really upset. As you're not answering your phone, I asked Anthea to pass this note to you. I just want to talk without shouting and screaming. I know you've been under a lot of pressure at work and that's what really caused all this. I told you it was a big mistake going back. It's just too demanding when you've got me and Kieran to look after as well. Please let's just meet up and talk anytime, anywhere, but let's get 
over this and back to normal for Kieran's sake. Call me Harry. So she left him. And there was screaming and shouting. Right. When you highlight a decision with influence, dotted influence lines will be drawn. Okay, cool. Okay. So this is the last one. Day one, Wednesday, 2332. Location, Linda's room. Okay. Oh, shit. Hey, can I come in? Oh, Neil. Sure. <sighs> Sorry, I just wanted to check if you were okay. Oh, this. This is nothing. One part melancholy, two parts nostalgia. <laughs> and about a part and a half of Merlot. <laughs> and one annoying little brother. Oh, you weren't annoying. Well, okay. You were, at times. But it was always a nice annoying. <laughs> oh, nice annoying. I'll have to stick that on my CV. <laughs> That's little brothers in a nutshell. Hi, Dandelion. You want to talk about it? Yeah. Yeah, I, I do. But not now. No. That's okay. Pass the ball, then. Sure. That's sweet. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know. But it tastes awful after you've cleaned your teeth. Yeah. We'll give it back then. Don't want to waste it. Or even older brothers. Yeah. Well, that was a sweet moment. I can't imagine him not checking on her. Would fix things or make... I don't know. Okay. So... That influenced that, and then, uh, a bit, bit, bit of influence lock. Okay, so it just affected that. Let's see the pool room. Oh, so Day then it turned two, to midnight. Thursday, okay. Got it, got it, got it. Pool room. Pool room. Not to be confused with the pool. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do it. No, do what? don't do it. She, she was... She was great. No, she wasn't. She uh, was mental. Oh. <laughs> but the sex was fucking fantastic. Yeah, of course it was. She was mental. And she was gorgeous as well. Look, I'll give you that. But mate, she almost killed you. That, oh, the mark? That, that was an accident. She cut you. With a knife. Just so she could lick the blood off. Didn't uh, feel a thing. Uh, Neither does she. That's the problem. Don't you want me to be happy? Of course I do. That's what I'm saying. Don't do it. Don't send the text. <laughs> the crazy hot scale. Men seem to struggle with Shit. it. You're right. What was I thinking? Oh, okay. Fuck. Good decision, mate. Bloody good decision. I do feel like that's a good decision. Oh, worried about me. Yeah, of course I was. You are me mate. Oh, I like Ben. Texting the ex. Almost never a good idea. Okay, marked with a blue highlight. These blue highlights will remain on the time map until you change another decision. Oh, uh, okay, 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 okay. So then let's see this. Day two, Thursday, 0745. Location, Ben and Jenny's room. Ben and Jerry. Her name should have been Jerry. Wrong one. Uh oh, are you going to tell her? I think you should. You enjoying yourself over there? 
What? Relaxing in bed, watching you get dressed. Yeah. Well, it'd be better if you were getting undressed. Oh. I've got to go to work. But I'm lonely. Oh, uh, that reminds me, I was having a drink with Tom last night. And I only just stopped him drunk texting Miranda. Uh, yeah, so if you could just... Make sure he doesn't try again? I'll do my best. Though, it'll cost you. Okay. Jenny. What's the price tag? Uh, oh, not much. Just a night in front of the TV. Aww. With all my favourite doctors. Do I have to? Just a little bit of quality time. Uh, for you, maybe. Exactly. Love you. Doesn't show. Oh no! Oh no! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Um. I don't know about this relationship, besties. Day two, Thursday, 09.30. Location, hall. I got a little bit weird by vibes with the ice cream thing. You okay down there? What are you doing? Oh yeah. The house isn't gonna blow up. No, I'm pretty sure of that. Um, Been a few odd power surges, awkward. but I'm just checking the electrics now. How did you learn all this? My dad. He was a jack of all trades. Builder, plumber, electrician. While the other kids were playing football, he was teaching me how to fix washing machines. That sounds cool. <laughs> wish mine had done that. Yeah, well, I wish mine had gone a bit easier on the fried food. Then he'd be here, and he could fix this instead of me. How was that influenced, I wonder? Oh, maybe he would have been with Miranda or she would have come over. But instead he's fixing something. So that's interesting. Day two, Thursday, 08.32. Location, landing. What the hell? Are you okay? Oh no. Oh my god. Yeah. Are you pregnant? A seat is a cue. Hey, really fast. Are you pregnant? Oh, maybe she got the pregnancy test for her. Keep quiet or I'll hurt you. Yeah, she'll be okay. But if you want to be okay. Best you don't mention this to anyone. What do you mean? I mean, you weren't here, you didn't hear anything, this didn't happen, okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, all right. Shit. Um. Day two, Thursday, 1930. So, yeah, she's pregnant and he's thinking about going abroad. But why won't they tell him? I guess they're, they're nervous. Mr. Ben Riley, that's for him. And that's why probably she's like, I want quality time. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Hi, Ruby. Green hell? I've never heard of it. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Look how far down this goes. I'm going to it. Cause I think it's fun to jump around. Wait, why can't I? Oh, I guess I can't look at it. I can't look at it. Oh, wait. 
View change. Let's see what happens when... Yeah. Okay, and then let's... They're made up. It sounded like it, huh? Okay, let's Day see. Four, Saturday, 1046. Location, living room. Uh oh. Okay, so. Oh, look at him. He's standing on the wrong bloody side. Maybe he accidentally makes a so comment. crap. Morris is much better. Give the lad a chance. He's got potential. We don't need potential. They're all over us. Look, he's out of position again. He's all we've got. Morrison's injured, isn't he? <gasps> then why don't we buy someone in the summer? Make a bloody tackle! <sighs> that was close. We're gonna get battered. Sports! So, yeah. We really need to fit another toilet in this place, mate. What? Oh. You need to fit another toilet. Install. Go on, go on, shoot! Ah! Uh, why didn't he pass it to Richards? What do you mean, install? Well, there's no plumbing in place, so technically, just pass the ball. Ruby, you don't have install. to do that. Oh, yeah, we'll fit, install that, whatever. We, yeah, we need another one. Yeah, I know. The party, I must have been waiting 20 minutes last night. Are we, are we playing this shit on purpose? <laughs> it's not just the party. Getting out of here in the morning is almost impossible. I had to be in the garden this week because Jenny was throwing up. Oh. oh. Is she okay? Oh, oh. Look, we've lost it again. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah. Raquel said she had a bit too much wine oh. the night before. They look too similar. I get them confused. Oh, come on, Rev, that's a foul. And anyway, it's, it's money, really, which I don't have a lot of on the movie. What? Why did you spend all the rent on? My mom's nursing fees, mostly. Oh. oh. Yeah. All the rent? Right. There you go. 60 pounds. Look, I hear what you're saying. Get inside. Inside. That's it. I'll price some stuff up and... Can I just enjoy the footy first? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'm, um... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna see what Kiri's up to. Go on then! Yeah, okay. Take the shot! Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll catch you later. Go on. Okay, shit. Hmm. Football and toilet trees. So, I'm going to, for now, change that and we'll see. Let's say threaten to keep him quiet. Um, all well, we're right here, so wait, what day two, Thursday, oh nine fifteen. Tom, the bloody electric's gone again. Really, <laughs> you didn't have to do that. <laughs> Okay. What the I'm heck? Thank you. Steam doesn't let any secrets happen. <laughs> Blowing a fuse. Blowing a fuse. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so... Oh, okay. What's the other potential? What? It, it, implements lock. Let's see. Okay, I'm understanding more. You change. Oh, so in the pile of letters and junk mail, Neil didn't find anything for Ben. Let's do that one and then see what happens. Late night chat does not happen. But then Miranda shows up, I guess. Oh, wait, no. I think they still have their late night chat, but... Your list of oh wow. <laughs> Neil didn't find anything for Ben. Shit. Okay. So now that's gone. That's the only thing it affects. Okay. 
Oh, in the kitchen. Um, okay. Oh my god, this is so convoluted. Let's see this one. Oh, did I just see that? No. Day two, Thursday, 1930. Oh. Location, living room. <sighs> That's not what happens. Hey. Relaxing evening in front of the telly, remember? Trying, but your medical drama is butchering my profession. Shh. Well, you're going to be a medical drama. Oh. Hey, up. What are you watching? The butchery channel. Oh, Doc, there was some mail for you in that pile. Some oh. sticky thing on a... Open this now to claim your prize. And yours got stuck to it. So, uh, well, anyway, I've, uh, I've left it on the side. He'll get it later. Sorry, what? Apparently, I'll get it later. Go, save yourself. Did ah. she look at it? I think I, I need to um, check I don't on my so. dinner. Mm. See ya. Postal drama. That'd be awkward if she saw it. Day two. Thursday, 1604. Location, landing. I love that this time traveler, 43, has to, like, experience all the drama. And the intricacies of their lives. Okay, you're going to ask you for a pregnancy oh, test? Hi. Um, nothing. Just thought I heard something must have been the rats the what oh you know the rats the rats in the walls i hate you i know so we're gonna do this then it's for his own good yeah yeah it is plus Wait. it'll be fun that's beside the point to you maybe Oh, the hot gas. Thought I heard something. Okay. What are you guys going to do? I'm curious. Tom's room. Day two. Thursday, 43 is just nosy as hell. Location. Tom's room. No, that's Ben and Jerry's room. Oh, they're doing it for Tom. Oh, they're maybe deleting his uh, Miranda or the crazy exes. Text or something? Let's see. Oh. Here he is. Ah, uh, yeah? What's up? You're an idiot. What have I done? Oh, let's see. Last night, alcohol, mobile phone, uh, Miranda. Miranda. Ah, uh, look, I can explain. Okay. You were drunk, you were lonely, you're an idiot. Well, I guess I don't need to. Look. We can understand the booty call. It's how me and Ben first got together. Oh, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we can understand that. Not bloody Miranda. It's not that bad. You need examples. She cut off all your clothes when you had to look after your mum for two days. She kept letting herself into the house with keys that you'd never given her. You had to change the locks after you broke up. Okay, the breakup wasn't great. <laughs> oh my god, dude, you she need a restraining order. Though it was okay for her to leave you tied to the bed for a whole day. Oh, okay, no, 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 no. Let me guess, you were the M. No. And did she tell you before she started? No. She gives S and M a bad she name. Just stop you there. The reason we're here is not to tell you how dumb getting back together with Miranda would be. Though it is kind of fun. But to remind you of the party on Friday. I know, I know. We will all be coupled up and having a great time. To which Aww. we have invited all our single friends. Nice. Ah. So, <laughs> if you can just avoid getting chained to a piece of furniture by your psychotic <laughs> oh ex-girlfriend, then you might meet someone nice. Someone normal. Someone sane for a change. Yeah. Good job, girls. 
That's the way we do it. This is how we do it. Linda and Tom. Postal drama. What was the other option? Oh, I see. Okay. Day two, Thursday, 1703. Location 1703. Kitchen. Yeah, I know. It's hard to say. What? <sighs> no, wait. A week, two tops. But I don't have that kind of money, so you have a wait, but we both get nothing. Good. Great. I think he planned the fire. Wonderful. Just wonderful. For insurance? I don't know. Hi. Oh, hi. Is this weekend still okay? Uh, this weekend. My son staying over? Oh, yeah, that's fine, yeah. I'm just trying to remember if there's a mattress for the fold away. Oh, don't worry about it. Kieran can have my bed. I'll take the sofa. Ah, uh, cool. Oh, yeah. I was gonna nip out to the yard for a smoke, but there don't seem to be a key. It's usually on the nail by the back door. But I keep a spare stuck to the back of that wooden doll over there. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna ask, but what the hell is it? Oh. Is it gonna come to life and murder us all in the night? <laughs> no, we should be safe. My dad made the freaky little thing out of some driftwood years ago. We always needed something to work on, even when I wasn't working. Well, at least it'll be hard to forget where the key is. Yeah, that was kind of my fault as well. So, there is a spare key for the back door, 43. Ah, oh, nice. Ah, oh, good, good. Now you should be able to get outside. Exciting. I mean, I didn't even try. So, that's funny. What is with the creepy dolls? Looks like the signal's rather low outside, 43. We're gonna need another booster out there. Okay. I have marked the spot. You should be able to see it now. Oh, I see. Oh, full moon! took place here in the great outdoors. Nice. With the open sky, the fresh air, and, uh, yes, cigarette butts. Ha <laughs> ha. Enjoy, 43. Oh, so did I miss something with her walking? No, because she walked out the front door, I think. Day two, Thursday, 1835. Location, kitchen. Some friend you are. Oh. What have I done now? Telling everyone about me getting drunk. Oh. And Miranda. Well, do you want to get back with her? Last night, when I was drunk, maybe. Now I'm sober, no fucking chance. Okay. Hi, Echo. And am I Welcome. here all the time? Well, no, because you've got to go to work. So, having a few other people around who can help you not make a mistake 
It's good, right? Yes. Because that's a dangerous mistake. I suppose. So what did they do? Well, they called me an idiot, and then they said that they'd invite their single friends over to the party on Friday. Yeah. Okay. So why are you complaining again? Because I'm an idiot. Oh, Tom, it's okay. You've got a big mouth. <laughs> Sometimes it's necessary. Linda and Raquel. Day two, Raquel. Thursday, 1902. Location, ah! room. What happened? I didn't like that. Just found the clothes. They're amazing. So Thank she you. adjusted them. There must have been so much work. Oh, not really. Anyway, think of it as a housewarming gift. That's really sweet. Thanks. Is Jenny around? I wanted to thank her as well. She is, but she's just managed to persuade the doc to a night in front of the telly. Got you. I'll thank her tomorrow. So, what's going on here then? I'm choosing pieces for the graduation showcase. Doll. Ask about the doll. For sure. Is this one? No. Oh, is that no, her not. friend's doll? So it's not some conceptual art piece about the loss of innocence or something. Not intentionally. No. I was holding her when I saw my friend Megan get hit by a car. God. Oh, God. I'm Me? so sorry. It's okay. It was a long time ago. God, okay, right. That's enough foot in mouth disease for one day. I think I'm gonna leave you in peace. Haven't you also clued up on conceptual art anyway? Oh, they used to show all these open university programs on TV late at night. Okay. I'm sorry. Um Handy when I had to feed Kieran at 3 a.m. and I was trying to stay awake. Oh, okay. Thanks for the clothes. Okay, so then there's the postal drama. Can't do this one. Wow, that affected this? Let's see it. Day six, Monday, 09, 03. Location, kitchen. Hmm. Oh, that smells nice. Oh, hi. Yeah, it's chamomile tea. I just find it relaxing. Takes me back to being a little girl. My gran used to drink it all the time. She said it had magical healing properties. Tea time. Oh, and did it? Don't know. Maybe that's what made her able to drink so much gin. <laughs> I could make you one if you like. Oh, why not? Maybe you can test out those magical properties. Well, I seen if it helps me drink more before I fall over. Why not? For science? But certainly not for my liver. No, probably not. <laughs> Okay. Chamomile tea for two. So the other option is asking about the graduation plans, which let's look. Hi, Audrey. How you doing? Uh... Wait, wait. I'm great. Okay, let's see this.
Wait, is this the same thing? Oh, that smells nice. Oh, hi. Yeah, it's chamomile tea. I just find it. I don't think that's. About her post graduate. Oh, maybe it influences it. I think I have to look at more stuff. Right, Karki? Damn, four to three. Neil's room. Neil's room. Basement. Let's go to the basement. Day two, Thursday, twenty three thirty two. Location: basement. Doing laundry. All done. Uh, what? Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> hi. How long you been down here for? A while. Why, can't a guy wander around his own house anymore? Didn't mean it like that. It's just I've been down here for an hour, and I didn't hear you. That'll be my ninja training. No, I, uh, I was uh, sorting through some of my mum's old stuff and... Okay, that's some believable. Just got lost in them. Yeah, they that's sound believable. Nice. Hi, Lindsay. How you I'd doing? love to see them, but not right now. Oh. It's a bit late. Yeah. Yeah, no, it is getting on a bit. Though I will say, I don't think you're much of a ninja. Uh, no, really? Why is that then? Well, you didn't hear me either, and I had the tumble dryer on. Well, I never said I finished my training now, did I? No, I guess you didn't. What is happening? Where did you come from? Mm-hmm. Mm Day two. Actually, I, I wanna I wanna go do this one first. Day two, Thursday, twenty oh three. Location: Neil's room. Neil's room. That's Linda's room. I love how Linda has the best room, and she just got there. It do be like that sometimes. Yeah, in the hidden room, exactly. Uh, I've just been talking to Mummy. <sighs> oh, how is she? She's fine, but you could just pick up a phone and ask her yourself. Well, I do. She said she hasn't spoken to you in weeks. Well, I can't help it if she doesn't answer when I ring. She hasn't seen you since Christmas. I've been busy. What, too busy to see your mum? Well, when was the last time you called your son? <gasps> I, I ran yesterday. But you only spoke with Harry. You haven't talked to Kieran since Monday. Have you? How did you know that? Because I talk to him pretty much every day, Linda. <gasps> you? Oh! Yeah. We play online together. Oh! So See, yeah, I feel like older generations... How is he? get confused by like he's, how he's we can communicate in different okay. ways he misses you no he doesn't know what he doesn't know why you left why did you leave did harry have an affair did an affair no. did no, you nothing like that well, what was it it was i just felt lost oh yeah, well, what do you mean, lost? I looked at my life and realised it had all just... just kind of happened to me. Isn't that what life does, Linda? Yeah, but you usually have some kind of say in where it goes. Hi. One hand on the steering wheel. What? But I hadn't. I looked back and okay. I hadn't chosen anything in the last 20 years. I didn't like my life. My then house, my fine. job, my friends, my husband. Yeah. Your child. God, no. Kieran's the one thing in my life that is good. I just wish he wasn't the only thing. So what are you going to do? A four? I don't know. 
I came here to clear my head and think about what I want, but I'm still thinking. Fair enough. Far enough. Far. What are you going to tell Kieran? I'll tell him that you're figuring things out. Just like the rest of us. Oh, that's presh. I should have gotten their death scenes out of the way because I'm going to be really sad now that I know them. Okay. Oh, wait. I also want to see F. Emily. Okay, so that's Emily. Um, then let's just go ahead and look at this. I'm good, Lindsay. We have a little bit left of playing this game and then we're going to play Witcher, which is, ex which is exciting. But I'm really liking this game. I think it's... Day two, yeah. Thursday, 2109. Who's that? Location, oh, yeah, yeah, that guy. Room. I don't really like this guy. Headshot. Oh, That's five nil. I'm playing so shit tonight. Yeah, you're usually Daniel Craig. Tonight you're just George Lazenby. And as usual, I have no idea what you're talking about. Bond, man. James Bond. Okay, whatever. Let's go out for a drink. Really? What now? We got uni in the morning. Stay in. Probably right. Go on then. Fire up again. Mm. Okay. I don't think he'll get back to Daniel Craig's status tonight, but maybe you could hear, I don't know, Dalton? Was that good? Better than Lazenby. <coughs> you ready? Yeah. Okay. I like his voice too. Here we go. Welcome back, Bree. Licensed to drink. Nice. Okay, so then that changed. Let's see what they're up to. Day three, Friday, O one twenty four. Location Ben oh. and Jenny's room. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Uh oh. No. No. Get up. Ben. Oh, she's sleep up. talking? Get out. Hey, Jen. Hey. What? Hey there. It's just a nightmare. Oh. Yeah, here I am. You were leaving me. No. I'm not leaving you. My mom left me. <gasps> Jen? Abandonment issues. Bit of a nightmare. That's very sad. So wait, which one does this affect? Okay. Let's see. Day three, Friday, 0715. Location, living room. So, I mean, he would be gone while she's pregnant, but he would miss the birth, probably. You're up early? Overtime? No. Couldn't sleep. Sorry, man. I know what it's like. Yeah, I feel like Ben is, I mean, Tom is Sorry, never yeah. asleep. How is she? That's just to be expected, really. But anyway, what's up with you? Oh my god, what if she's in the hidden sure. room? Mostly. Uh, so I need to see what's in the hidden room. Hours, way too many drunks, kids with the sniffles, and grannies with <laughs> nothing wrong with them. Yeah. The NHS is in crisis. You're underpaid, understaffed, and the hospital is falling apart. In short, you just don't feel like you're making a difference. Mm, that's all true, but. Okay, so they're having the same extra this time. conversation. Okay. 
Some time ago, you know, I talked about working overseas. But later. Was that the... Right, Karki. Was that the doctors in war zones place? Kind of, but yeah, that's them. Well, ages ago now, I applied and they just sent me a job offer. Oh. Well done, mate. But you don't look happy. I mean, I could do some real good out there. I could help a lot of people, but... So I'm yeah. interested in seeing... There's not many jobs for mathematicians out in Afghanistan. How long is it for? Minimum nine if to twelve months. If he gets suspicious... Shit. With the... What um, are you do? I, don't I don't know. I don't know. The drinking thing. The sickness. So what I'm going to do now... Early morning chat. Okay. What I want to see... Well, first I'm going to see this. Because I think this is this is related to license to drink. Oh, I can't. Oh, so I wonder if that was... If he actually went out. So let's change that. And see what happens with this. Day three, Friday, 0745. Location, kitchen. I would hope that Caleb would stick around for the pregnancy because that's the thing that I'm most afraid of in terms of having a kid is having uh, a parasite in me. Oh, uh, bloody hell. Gary. What happened to you? Oh, hi, Doc. Nothing much. Got into a bit of a fight last night, like. What do you mean, a bit of a fight? Well, me and Ian were out drinking down the line. So Nobhead said some stuff to Ian, and I said some stuff back, and I just thought... Oh. Okay. Let's do... Take a look. I want to see this. Do you want me to take a look? Hi, Frog Gore. No, I'm fine, Doc. You sure? Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's just nothing. I'll be okay in a bit. That's okay. nice, Ben. But if it doesn't get any better, then I don't know give me a I shout. Like ben. No, I will do. to you oh hi doc nothing much got into a bit of a fight last night they like. look identical what do you mean, a bit of a fight well me and Ian were out drinking down the line so nobhead said some stuff to Ian and I said some stuff back and it just all went a bit downhill let's try that one this isn't the first time is it what do you mean I mean, getting into fights seems to be a bit of a habit. I'm not letting Ian get picked on by dickheads. No, but you could hang out in different pubs. Yeah, but then the dickheads win, Doc. Yeah, and you don't end up hobbling around the kitchen. Oh, that's a small price to pay for a friend. Hmm. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Then what I wanted to do is, I don't know if it matters, but it definitely does matter. <laughs> I want to try. Neil found a letter addressed to Ben. So that when we, yeah, they have this. Ben told Tom about the letter and his job offer. And then there's another option for Day here. Two, 
Thursday, 1930. Location, living room. This is so cool. See, and then this, let's see what happens here. <sighs> That's not what happens. Hey. Relaxing evening in front of the telly, remember? I'm trying, but your medical drama is butchering my profession. Shh! Or you're gonna be a medical drama. Yeah, what are you watching? The Butchery Channel. Hey, Doc. Anything exciting in your mails, boy? Oh! Oh, okay. So, let's do... This would be. Ay, ay, ay. It was a job offer. Congratulations, man. What job offer? It's for a medical organization. They're looking for doctors to work overseas in frontline clinics. You didn't tell me you'd applied. Sorry. Awkward. Oh, slam. Yeah. I'm sorry about that, Paul. No, it's uh, it's not your fault. Medical drama. Ooh. Yeah, it did turn into a medical drama. So then that opens up this one. Ooh, fight, fight, fight. Day two, Thursday. I mean, that's what I would think. Huh? Location: Ben and Jenny's room. So there's not secrets. Uh oh. Jen. Were you actually going to tell me? Yes. Of course I was. Or were you just going to pack your bags and leave a note? God, no. no. When did you apply? It was. It was months ago. Tail end of last summer. We had a guest speaker in, and, and that's what he talked about. I didn't think much of it at the time, except it got me off the ward for an hour. But you still applied. Well. Yeah, but it wasn't serious. It feels pretty serious from where I am. No, I mean, at the end of that rotation, we all got drunk and, well, you know how it is. Overachieving doctors, egos fueled with testosterone and tequila. We saw it as a competition, so we all drunkenly dared each other to apply, just to see who'd make it. So you're not going off to some war zone? No. I'm not going off to some war zone. Oh, shit. Good. <gasps> okay. I mean... Wow. Wow. So then, medical autopsy. So then it just kind of ends there. What about if I changed it? What if, what if I changed this to here and let's see what happens. This is so cool. Yeah, so then it's this, but I already saw that. Oh, it didn't really change anything. <gasps> no, I want to see it. Show it to me. Uh... Ben and Jenny. Okay. Day three, Friday. Are you going to tell him? Oh, I see. Morning, Ray. How are you doing? I think I'm coming down with something. Um, so I wouldn't get too close. Um, Got you a present. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's a pregnancy test. <laughs> but I'm not sure you're going to like it. <laughs> Doesn't sound like much of a present. Well, there's things you want, and then there's things you need. Uh huh. Uh -huh. This is more need. Yes. 
I'm not pregnant. Yesterday morning, you were throwing up. Keck you! That was the chicken. It wasn't cooked properly. You're feeling nauseous right now. That's the flu. Um. And this conversation. And your boobs are getting bigger. Oh, that's. Wait, how pregnant are what? you? You're keeping track of the size of my breasts. No, not really. I just kind of know how big they are. And these are definitely bigger. Ooh. Oh, take the test, please. They're a little sore, too. <gasps> Thought they might be. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. What, what do I do? Take the test. Well, before we panic or think or do anything else, you need to pee on a stick. And you? I'm staying to hold your hand. Oh. While I pee. Whatever you need. I've just been. Okay, then. You get dressed while I put the kettle on. A couple of pints of tea inside you and we can get this party started. Well, that's very precious. Good friend. Drink water, not just tea, please. Day three. Okay, Friday, let's see. 0855. Location, then in Jenny's room. much longer almost done oh i this see cool 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 fucking five minutes of my life oh there sailor kiss your dad with that mouth i don't like pregnancy tests and anyway who's talking key moi key okay Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't oh my god. Look. Well, I can just throw it away. Okay. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I so need a drink right now. Um, you can't. But this is telling me I can't. Yeah. That could be tricky. What? Well, we are having a party here tonight. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 right. Okay, this is on hold. We do not think about this. This um, did not happen. We get through the party, then... Then we worry about this. Okie dokie, Mon Capitan. 24 hours of pretend blissful ignorance. And we'd better get to uni. Oh no. Passing the test. Ooh! Yikes. What the hell? Oh, I see. Why is it going so slow? What the heck? <laughs> I want to see what it influences. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's go. N event nine. Let's see. Or nine D. Day four, Saturday, thirteen thirty-two. Location. Spoiler alert, Fishing. but I like spoiling it. <laughs> A little bit. It's fun to jump around. Ooh. Hello, party up in here. Hey, where's the spoon? What? The spoon, the one you were just eating off. Did you just drop it in the bin? Oh, there's no. Kieran. Oh. Maybe. Sorry. <laughs> We had a patient who did that with his oh, jelly. Twelve spoons he had at the bottom oh, of his bin. Great. Found it. This isn't yours, is it, Mom? A pregnancy test? No, it <gasps> bloody well isn't. Oh. Uh oh. It, it it's mine. Jen. Jen! Shit! 
Did that just happen? Oh, yes. Yes, it did. And I... Oop. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it's not <Kieran>. your fault. <laughs> it's just next time you find one, best to keep quiet about it. Um, so I want to see what happens next. I definitely want to see what happened ne happens next because I'm a big Location, gossip. Ben and Jenny's room. Ben and Jerry's room. Jen. Jenny, you okay? Yeah. Is it true? Yeah. When did you find out? Only yesterday. It still hasn't really sunk in. That's why you weren't drinking at the party. Yeah. Oh, so she didn't drink. Cool. Hey, Jen. This is your body, <gasps> and it's your decision. Ah! Yes, Ben. Whatever you ben! choose, I'm with you. Yes, If you don't want ben! it, that's okay. I'm here for you. Yes. If you want to keep it, Hell that's okay yeah! too. Yeah. You'd want a kid. Um, Val, it's a child. <laughs> now. I agree, but it's also well, a child, so it was a good it I'm was a good teaching right moment. Now, but seriously, why not? Aww. I mean you've almost finished you. You'd have to put your career on hold for a bit, but I mean let's face it, the job market for graduates is terrible at the moment. Man. <laughs> it was a kid. <laughs> and I love you too. That's so sweet. Wait, I love Ben. I love Ben. That was the perfect reaction. Oops, sorry. Day five, Sunday, 0900. Location, kitchen. Be nice, Tom. Morning. Morning. Been shopping? Yeah. I woke up early and I guess the old caveman instincts kicked in. Ah, uh, so hunting mama for breakfast then? <laughs> nah, they were all out. Scrambled eggs. Oh. Oh Glad my god. You're being you so maybe, nice. But the Jenny's favorite. So she's pregnant then? Right, Pearl. Yeah. It was do? evangelical Christianity know, yeah. in America that started it. Nah. No it's way. It's not in the Bible. Not now. I couldn't do that. And besides, I don't think I want to anymore. Good. It means I'll have to track you down to whatever war zone you end up in just to kick your ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's excited about the baby. Oh, Karki! Jesus Christ, Karki! <laughs> Please, we're living. <laughs> I'm living in blissful ignorance right now. Okay, I, no, 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 shit, it's fine. Uh, it, Karki is just stating the obvious because six people died in a <laughs> in a house fire. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Oh, I can't look at that one. Chamomile tea for two. Oh, we're at our time. This is so cool. So I actually do have one more sponsored stream of this. I think we'll do it like next week or something because um, we'll just space it out. Can I? Yes. Yeah, but I think I'm going to finish it regardless, and I'm not going to finish it next stream for sure. Uh, at least the bird. <laughs> the bell. The bell. The bird is just chilling in the freaking. Um. Vet's office. 